Hey everybody, Joe Haygood here from GGS Gamer, and we are going to take a edition. Uh, this is the re-release of Evolve. Yeah, 2012. No, 2013. Uh, reinvention of the Tomb Raider brand from, uh, Square Enix, uh, Crystal Dynamics, and formerly Eidos Mod. Uh, we have uh, already escaped the Madman's Cave in the beginning, so we're just taking this up from the point of... Um, uh, we just met up with our crew, and we're trying to find Sam, who one of the girls that is was on the ship that went down. Uh, now, real quick... Turn off command temporary because I don't want connect going crazy through this entire. Uh, so as you can see, uh, let me see. do a better light. Probably not. Get in a second. But they uh, actually created a new character mod. Head forward. We're gonna go up here and talk to this guy. These are fascinating. And I do have subtitles on because I'm trying to make sure I know. I've seen these before. Oh, they must be rich. I don't want to have the volume up too loud to uh, run over this recording. Looks like it was made quite recently. It's by those islanders, no doubt. Judging by the wrecks out there, they were once like so. survivors. Remarkable. Of course, this guy is gonna. Uh, we don't become murderers too. See if you can work the other one. He wants us to give him a hand here. The handle's missing. It's good old Laura. Improvising. Oh, shit. It won't take the fourth. I'll have to find something sturdier to turn it with. Must be something around here we can use. Incredible. Yeah, sure. Send me out to go look for him. Oh, so I need maybe a better, uh, a better app. So, let's see if we got enough to uh, upgrade this. Alright. So. Out. Oh my goodness. What does she look like with this? So apparently... Huh. Well, for now, let's go back and change it. Put her in her room. Whenever you're ready. For now. When we get into a better light, maybe we'll take a look at uh, 
some of the other costumes. Now that we have our upgraded pickaxe. Or salvage. Oh, thanks, guy, for holding that up. You're a gem. Given the age of the symbols, it could be the Sun Queen. Himika, are you sure you're not channeling sound, Dr. Woodland? I know who's traumatized. We reach. Get going. Well, there's no doubt. I don't think this is a guy that you power. really think about trusting in the least. A woman wields that much power, and sooner or later it gets cold. <sighs> but we'll see. Rest of the weary lot. Let's go. We I just get the feeling we're going to pay for this. What may seem to us irrational, we still have much to learn about the world. <sighs> you sound like my father. Let's get going, shall we? It could be one hell of a story, Laura. Not if we don't live to tell it. It really is a visual upgrade if you play the... It is Himiko. But look... I don't know if it's and worth spending 60 bucks on. It must have once been part Especially of if you've you already played through it now. I played through it on the PC. But this is real, Dr. Whitman. We're Full disclosure, I did purchase it. <laughs> We're standing on this a is not a review line. copy from Square Enix. Uh, they did send us a review copy on... PS3, or uh, I'm sorry, on PC. Uh, but they did not, uh, this was something I actually purchased. So. I don't want any trouble. No. We'll come. No. But I insist that afterwards you take us to whoever's in charge. What are you doing? Be quiet. What an idiot. He really no. is. No. 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 Please. Get off. Oh. Just, just go along with them, Laura. Do it, do whatever they say. Do whatever they say. Scum. Aggression. Who are you people? What do you Silence. Do you know, as you can see, there's new lighting improvements. Don't hurt them, please. Uh, there's obviously the hair improvements. Character model. Uh, new facial animations. It's actually uh, originally I thought the idea would be that they would essentially just bring the PC version of the game uh, to the Xbox One and the PS4. Uh, oh well, that's interesting. <laughs> Xbox, resume game. Well, there you go. Apparently, it thinks that I wanted to watch something else. Um. Hey, bring Can't up the make it yeah, I'm on it. Oops. God, this game is just grisly when it comes to dying. It makes no bones about killing you. Fight. 
So that dude's ready to just kill us. Let's see. What do you see? Huh. You can see there's a good close-up on the new facial model. Um, and like I said, it is not... Uh, they didn't just take the PC version and convert this over. They definitely... This is definitely a new render for the two consoles. Um, and as you can see, at least here on the 360... Or on the Xbox One version, there is... That didn't work out so well. I need to pay attention. Um, so there's definitely a lot of new features for the, uh, the new console. Oh, crap. Really need to pay more attention. Uh, that's one thing I will say is that I don't remember the button prompts being so quick in uh, the last, at least when I played on the PC. It seemed like I had a bigger window for those button prompts. I could be wrong. I could be imagining this stuff. Oof. Just decorated the world with that dude's brains. Dude, you had it coming. You definitely had it coming. Oh God. Yeah, she's a bit traumatized. I keep waiting for her to just puke. But hey, she's like, uh, you know, I'm good with this. Let's go bow stop. Yeah, let's not waste. No reason to waste a good amount of ammo. Get shot? Jesus Christ.
God, you'd think that I'd be able to hit this guy a little better. There you go, jeez. Controls touchy a bit much? I think so. It's alright. Got some arrows though. Much better with the bow than I with the guns in this game. Plus the bow, I mean towards the end of this game it just becomes Disaster. You just wreck people. I mean, you just wreck people with that bow by the Oh, so. Gonna light this place on fire. Do some looting. Ammo canister. Hmm. I'm going up there. So what came in? Another tanker? Nah. Look like some kind of research ship. Should be some good stuff then. We'll find out soon. Got a crew going it in now. Maybe over here. Pop your head out. Come on. Salvage. Some salvage. Uh, not on that guy, sadly. Oh, so I can't use that. Yeah, thanks a lot. Bro. I'm in trouble. They're killing people. What? Who? Men. I don't know why. Real nice guy, don't you think? I mean, no choice. That can't have been easy. It's scary just how easy it was. You've got to warn the others, Roth. Don't worry about it. Then again, it is interesting to see Laura, the killing machine. I'll try. She wastes no time in messing it up, does she? Can't really. Travel unlock. I'm really doing these things. I cannot upgrade no. my bow stuff. Not now. It won't help. See, I, I don't think I can. To the rest of the crew. I hope they're okay. They have to be. They have to be. 
And I've already done that. Survivor upgrades. Oh, I have uh, an upgrade. So let's see. Uh, there we go. Okay. Let's, uh... Hmm. Days have passed huh. since the plane crash. For a second time, we attempted to escape by boat. With That's interesting. Results. I knew it would happen, just like the first time. Well, the water effects look real nice too in this. With no explanation. Like I said, it, it, it looks solid, although most of what I've seen in the game so far is, like, as you've seen here, most of this is. Into the rocky shore. It's uh, it's all nighttime so far. I haven't had any daytime uh, points in the game. Let's go ahead and skip this. Um, so it's very possible that things could change. Oh yeah, another headshot. You can be ruthlessly efficient. And I mean, this is just the basic. There is a point where you get to up. You can just wreck. <laughs> you just make it. We salvage from you. This doesn't look precarious at all, does it? She's in here somewhere. Find her. Catch her or kill. Kill her. She's too much trouble. Hmm. You two, check that side. Fire. Huh. Sometimes you just have to pay attention. Now why the fire doesn't spread everywhere else, I'll never know. We're in a completely wooden structure, you would think.
Oh shit, who's shooting at me? Oh damn. I did not realize I was getting shot at. Or maybe I was lit on fire. That might have been the You two, check that side. Got Okay. Shit. Oh, man. Fire. Everything's lit on fire. And didn't I just ask that question, too, to myself? Like, why isn't everything else on fire? Well, now I know why. Because it eventually does get on. Spreads like wildfire, too. That didn't work out so well, did it? <laughs> I don't really... I, well, I think I have a melee. God, it's been so long since I've played this. Uh, shoulder swap, weapon select... Okay, so I do have a melee. Why? That's my problem, sitting here clicking the goddamn stick. And I for me. Yeah, let's get this guy again. Boom. He's out. Get our stuff from him. Let's get our salvage from him.
so can I not? I think we got ourselves out of a little bit of another extra. When we washed up on this rock, the rain and wind pounded us for days. We couldn't build shelter or forage for food. Christ, we couldn't even move. Ah, well. You guys bored with some of that stuff. Uh, the secrets are hit and miss in this too. Like some of them are hidden really well. Some of them, eh, not as well, shall we say. And let's go over here and get some scrap. something in here. Silk fan. Could have been used by a villager or a noble maybe. Yeah. Rotate it around. I open my hand, stops moving. I can also use just my regular thumbstick controls. Either way works. So yeah, that's uh, now also if I was using the connect, which like I said, I have the connect functionality turned off, but you could say things like map and it would take you to the map. Um, and, and yeah, just general controls like that of that nature. I mean, nothing outlandish, overly fantastic. But uh, you know, there is some stuff of interest in there. Um, I think there's some interesting commands in there, and, and you know, like I said, it's not something that you have to use. There's no, you know, it's not like, oh, God, if you don't use this, you're going to fail at the game forever. Uh, not in the least. But, you know, you do get to, uh, you know, it, it does shorten up a few things here and there if you are so inclined to do so. And if you don't, you can completely ignore them. There's no uh, no penalty, no penalty to the uh, to the uh, player if they decide not to use the connect control. They're just there. Uh, I don't know if there are voice commands in the PS3 version. I'm not going to say there isn't, cause, or uh, the PS4 version, but I haven't played it. I do know there were no voice commands in the PC version. But that's kind of the deal. So we got our salvage. We got the the uh, book off of that or the memo. 
and uh, we're gonna head up here um, yeah, and as you can see the lighting effects are a lot better than they were it also ran it kind of got clunky at points frame rate wise was uh, was a problem from time to time Oh yeah, this is something where I can lean from side to side when you see, when you see that, uh, uh, when you see the, uh, binoculars come up, that's a cue that you can actually lean your body and it'll pan the camera around from side to side. Granted, not a necessity. Um, but it's there if you're interested in it. Um, I, that, that to me was less, that's probably the most unuseful item in this definitive edition. Um, and I honestly don't know if there were connect controls in the 360 version because I didn't play it long enough. Uh, in the demo we saw on 360. At E3, I don't remember Connect being used in it. Um, but, uh, yeah, they're, they're, it's fine. There's nothing wrong with them. You know, you don't want to use them. You don't have to. Um, but the tilting thing, that's just really dumb. I don't understand why that's there. I could just as soon use the stick to me. Alright. You got nothing better to do with that 8% of Connect processing power, so be it. Oh, the, uh, the wolves. Huh. They're coming! Thank God you're alive. Oh. Oh, God, God. He's kind of a mess. It's good to see you too, girl. Oh, sorry, they did a real number on your leg. Well, no, it looks worse than it is. Uh. Have you heard from any of the others? Nothing. Wait, what are you doing? The wolves took my food pack. The transmitter from the lifeboat's in it. If we don't get that back, we're not getting off this bloody island. Yeah, but you need you need bandages, morphine, antiseptic. We're also in the pack. Shit. Exactly. Come here. <laughs> oh. oh no. Um no, 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 no. The other thing is is um Oh don't do this. In the definitive version, it does include all the multiplayer. Obviously, we saw there were costumes okay. that okay. I assume were in that because I don't remember those being in the base version of the game. They may have been, I just don't remember. If not, you do get like there were seven or eight different costumes that you can wear. Um, and as we saw, they don't the Batman route of, oh, you gotta finish the whole game first before you can start wearing those new costumes. Which kind of sucks. Um, it also comes with, uh, I think it was three or four uh, multiplayer map pack downloads, which was kind of upsetting. Uh, the main story in this is really good, and it would have been nice to get some follow-up DLC, story, single-player content DLC. Um... Sadly, it was, uh, it was not there. It's, God, it's such a great facial mod. Um, yeah, there was no story DLC. That was really a bummer. Um, it was a really good game. Or a really good story, and it would have been nice to get some more story-based content. Out of the game. And sadly, it wasn't there. You know, I mean, it's not a, you know, ultimate detriment. It's one of those things where it's like, oh, man, that would have been really nice. Um, yeah, I think I want the damage. Then the other. 
damage to me as well. At this point. Um. But, um. Let's see. I think that's what we'll, I think we'll call it a wrap for that. Uh, God, I wanted to get to some daylight sequences, but a lot of this initial gameplay happens at night in the game, so unfortunately there's not a lot in the show of uh, daylight content. But, uh, I would note, I mean, I'm going to be honest here. If you already played the game on 360, PC, or PS3, I'm not going to lie, it's a tough sell. It is, it's, it's a tough sell for me to say and tell you. For 60 bucks, go on by this game that came out 9 10. Again. Like I said, you know, well, some are going to say, well, Joe, you bought it. You already had it on PC. Well, number one, I'm an idiot. Uh, but in all seriousness, um, In all seriousness about that, um, like I said, I, I ended up getting a review copy of this, so I don't feel as guilty for buying, because it's like, uh, you know, kind of help out. More salvage. over there. These ruins. Come and cure a period. I don't stop. Constant. You know, and I do like I like what they did for, for her is it is genuine she is genuine oh that didn't work out so well all right well let's get back to her. we gotta get up to the cliff huh? Go this way. Thought that was a way. Definitely look everywhere, wherever you go. Invest. Okay, here the game 
messing around. the fact she's able to keep that flame going. You'd have made a fine military soldier. Keep your weapon in your dry. She kept her flame going. Although, that time. Get some salvage. Yeah, I will admit, one of the arguments about the Tomb Raider game was the fact that Laura very quickly went from being Just a naive youngster to a woman that was battle-hardened and ready. thought that was too far. That motherfucking wolf is coming. That fucker is coming. Alpha male, my ass. All right, well, now we just got to get back to the camp. What's the quickest way to get back to the camp? Well, that's probably the quickest way, and that's probably not the way I want to go, because that's probably the way that's going to kill me. There we go. That'll work. Oh, I need fire. Get over there. I'm gonna kill that goddamn chicken. I 
At some point, I'm gonna kill that chicken. All right, so Roth's good. Let's get you patched up. Patch him up. And let's see if we get some daylight out of this so I can actually show you a quick, a better look at the character model in daylight. Nah, still gonna be kind of nighttime. Well, I can't say that I didn't try <laughs> to, to get something. Uh, it's not Good field dress. What is a young lady like you learn to do a thing like that? <laughs> Late shift at the Nine Bells. <laughs> Wolf's got nothing on a broken bottle. Hey. Yeah, well. Nice work. So I assume the plan is to take that up to the radio. Yeah, the character model was me. You should give us the best shot for all kinds um, of I don't know if they did any upgrades on the other models. They still seem a little still. Look. They look, they're definitely upgraded. Donna. I mean, obviously they were not the focus. And I'm not climbing. Focus for this. Yeah, I was afraid you were going to say that. Uh, you can do it, Lord. And no, I'm not saying there was anything wrong with the previous model. I don't think you know, that kind of cross. it's amazing that they did a whole new render. You just don't know it yet. <laughs> We're gonna be doing some climbing. Well, let's hope I'm a fast learner then. Yeah, that's the other thing. I haven't seen any achievements come up yet. Now it could be that they're disabled. Be careful, Laura. For the game, I don't remember when achievements. I'm wondering if they disable them so as not to ruin the illusion or if I genuinely just haven't gotten any. You might want to give that axe a go on the rock wall over there first. Alright. Well, while I understand your enthusiasm, I'm gonna go and save my. Thank God for our training. All those treks, all those climbs. Uh, if you've been preparing me for something like this all along, it's clear that there are people living here, and they're organized. They're killing and recruiting. I definitely want extra salvage. That's an important one. Okay, so um, with that, I think we'll call it. Uh, uh, we'll give this a, a wrap up for now. And uh, right now, I would say with our, you know, we sat here and we probably had about a forty, a good forty minute look at this game. 40 minute to an hour look at this game. And I mean my early opinion is is that I didn't mind spending but I also had you know we received review copies on for the first version so you know this is my way to contribute to the game. However if you already had it on 360 PS3 or and especially if you pay full price for it at that point. If you didn't get it on sale or discounted or whatever. Recently bought a 360 and Xbox One. And you got one of those bundles that had the Tomb Raider game in it. Along with Halo 4. Um, I could see saying, yeah, you know. You know, you know if, you, if, if, if you got it for full price, it's going to be a tough sell to convince yourself to come in and pay another $60. Yes, you're getting... All the DLC, all the costumes. The problem is all the DLC is multiplayer. And I honestly don't know what the multiplayer community is going to be like. You know, the multiplayer community, community uh, on the PC side was there for the first month to six weeks after it was out. 
And then he kind of died off. There was a few people there, uh, you know, a dedicated group of people that were playing it long after that, just like there is for, you know, there's always a niche group that will stick with I mean, hell, there's still, uh, you know, a small group of people that play Bioshock 2 multiple point to this day. Um, I don't know why, but there are. Um, so if the multiplayer is a thing for you, all that DLC means nothing. And the costumes, that's nice, but it's not really a necessity. So you're paying $60 essentially. For that's a tough sell. It would have been nice if they would have had an upgrade program, if Square could have said, hey, if you send us your 360 or a PS4 disc, like all these companies were doing at launch, if you had Call, you know, Call of Duty or Black or Battlefield 4 or Madden or, or any of those, Assassin's Creed, you could trade them in and get upgraded for it. You paid 10 bucks extra and you got the PS4 or Xbox One version. Same game. You know, obviously we're outside that initial window, but, or even if you weren't going to do that, if you just said, hey, 40 bucks, because look at it this way, this is a dry period right now, maybe this is their argument for charging $60, they know they're in a dry period and that people have stuff to play, but it's not new, and if people have already played it, they may not come in, but if you come in and say 40 bucks in a dry spell right now on a new console, you get so many more people in for that forty dollar price versus um that's just my opinion um I would say that like I said, if you haven't played it before, it's a no brainer buy it it's fantastic um but if you owned it and you finished it and you weren't into the multiplayer. I have a pretty good feeling that this game will will go on sale pretty quickly. It would not surprise me if in a month, you know, 30 to 60 days from release, if we start seeing this thing marked down to $40, maybe even $30. Um, but we'll see. Um, anyways, think about it. Grind it through, you know, Roll the idea around. That's just my opinion, my take on it right now. It's a good, it's a great game. It's still the same Tomb Raider game you played, you know, that was out a year ago, and it was still fantastic then. It's fantastic now, but you got to weigh those pros and cons out. Um, anyways, for GGS Gamer, I'm Joe Haygood. Make sure to visit us on the web, uh, www.ggsgamer.com. You can find us on Facebook, facebook.com slash ggsgamer. You can find us on Twitter, at... GGS Gamer, yeah, YouTube, where you'll probably find this video, uh, youtube.com slash GGS Gamer, or if that doesn't work, just hit the search bar, type GGS Gamer, all one word. Um, if you're into podcasts, we have a podcast as well. It's uh, You Like the Worst Stuff, the Pop Culturally Questionable Podcast. It's uh, hosted by me and my two compatriots, Tony Sadowski and Joe Foreman. And uh, you can find updates on that on Twitter. It's uh, at the worst. And uh, make sure to read all the articles, review us, rate us, comment, send us emails. If you want to have any questions for the podcast, for the staff, stuff you want to see us review or do video capture or commentary on, hit us up. Uh, you know, like I said, on Twitter, hit us up on Facebook. Or you can even email us, uh, talk to us at ggsgamer.com. Uh, with that, Joe Haygood signing off. And